It's just such a wide looping pattern that this particular pattern doesn't get jammed because the cornerback just doesn't have the range to do it. So he really just runs right past him for an easy one-play touchdown. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snippet of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some one-play touchdowns for you guys today. I got part two of a super glitchy offense that I started showing you guys not too long ago, maybe a couple days ago. I'm not really sure uh, when this video is going to come out. But ultimately, if you guys didn't catch part one, I will have a link in the description with the run plays, which are really the all-star of this particular formation. But got some super explosive pass plays for you guys today. The offense I'm in, again, is the pistol playbook. I'm going to spend a week or two in the pistol playbook. Uh, spoiler alert, I love this playbook. The only reason that I don't use it more often is is because I know people that play in custom playbooks don't have access to a lot of these plays, including the offense I'm going to show you guys today. But if you want to see a full breakdown of this offense or you want me to continue out of the pistol playbook, I have a lot of offenses, uh, a lot of really explosive plays that are in other playbooks, that are in team playbooks. I think the pistol trips is one of them that I have planned. Um, there's a lot of really good ones in this formation. The pistol bunch to ease, the offense I put out several years in a row that they kind of took away, it's still in the pistol playbook. You know what I mean? Like this is one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game. I have a really good uh, play out of the gun tight slots, the PA post shot, one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see more, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But we're going to continue with the weak slot flex today. This particular series really breaks down to two passing plays. I'll go ahead and I'll show you them in my audibles. There's two passing plays that I'm not sure if I'm going to show both today. I know I'm going to show this one. This one here is the one that I put out last year. It's very different how this play works this year, and it also is very, it's much more explosive this year. I found way more ways to hit one play touchdowns with this offense play so this is going to be a play i show today and i'm not sure but i might show the post wheel as well so two very explosive plays i'm going to show you guys on offense we're going to start off with the power option pass and on defense we're going to go how we're going to match we're going to start off with nickel tampa 2. now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoh.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and help support this channel at the same time i really appreciate you guys for doing that all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, this play here last year was only a one-play touchdown against Cover 3, but it has a lot more uses. I found a lot more ways to have explosive plays against pretty much every single defense in the game. It's going to be a slightly different setup on every single play. On this play, I'm going to motion across uh, uh, Rager here. All I'm going to do is motion him across. I'm going to put the A route on a streak. This is going to be enough to get uh, Rager open for a very big play. Now, I'm also going to block my running back because he really doesn't do much. So, ultimately, this is it. You can give yourself a check down uh, in a couple of other ways, but yeah, this is going to be a really big play. You have to run from a hash mark because this is a route that kind of goes to the sideline. I went ahead and swapped out uh, Rager for Watkins because I don't know why anybody would play uh, Jalen Rager at this point. Uh, Quez Watkins is way better, but this is pretty much going to be the exact same thing. Only now we got a little more speed. Hopefully he can get up the field a little bit quicker. And then you can see, I mean, this is something that I could probably have a one-play touchdown because I'm getting pretty close. I'm almost there, about 40, about 10 yards away. I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, if you have a really fast tight end, um, I don't think I'm going to have success with that because I think Mika Parsons is roaming the middle there. I don't think he's going to get past... Uh, or at the very least, he'll have the catch-up speed to take that away. But you can see that the tight end does have an opportunity as well. And like I said, this might be a one-play touchdown if you're about 40 yards out, but clearly I'm not going to get that 50. Still a very explosive play, though. Let's go ahead and let's move on and do cover three. Cover three is very unique, so we'll go and pick that. Now, this is a play that I put out last year, and it still works. You can motion out this running back. And this has a very weird uh, reaction. The cornerback has a very strange reaction to what this running back's doing. All I'm going to do is put the A route here on a fade, and you're going to see how this, this uh, swing route is going to basically pull that cornerback down, giving you an opportunity for a very big catch and run. Now, if I had an elite speed tight end, and I showed that last year, you could score one-play touchdowns with that. 
but ultimately not everybody has an elite speed tight end. You can see how it didn't you know, work out for Goddard here. I'll do it one more time before I show you guys another secondary setup. And you can see, like I said, for whatever reason, the cornerback just kind of follows that running back underneath and you get a very easy play against cover three. Now this play is gonna work pretty much the exact same way this year, where I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Only this time I'm gonna put the B route on a streak and the X route's gonna be the guy. Now the biggest issue with this is gonna be holding down um, the pocket, but you can see how this guy here gets over the top because the cornerback still bites underneath. It's gonna be the exact same effect. When it comes to hitting the home run against cover three, all you really have to do is get this cornerback to play down typically. And that's exactly what this route does. He plays down to a point where he doesn't even get past the 10 yard depth until the receiver who's gonna beat him is about five yards behind him. So you can see from this view right here, they're about 15 to 20 yards apart. He's at the 40, he's at the 20. So they're 20 or so yards apart, which is gonna be a gap that's gonna be very difficult to close up by the time I get the ball in the air. Also has a lot of success against cover four. So we gotta back out, find one here in the dime formation. Against cover four, you just have to put the A route and the B route on drags that's really all you got to do because you're trying to pull the safeties down uh, and that will do a good enough job with that then you just have to wait for this x route here to cross and you can see how he can split those two safeties very easy for an easy one play touchdown this is a very timing based throw and you're going to need a pretty good speed receiver to get this done but you can see the second he gets inside the free safety here he's pretty much you know at any point he gets past the strong safety you can pretty much bullet and pass lead inside away from the free safety as i'm probably already thrown as you look back there i'm already winding up because that's pretty much where the time is going to take place the second he gets inside of 18 he's already past the strong safety just bullet past the inside and away and you can see how you can have separation but like i said this is definitely something you want to practice in practice mode because the timing is definitely key. You also want to drop back too much if you don't have a very strong quarterback, like I don't, as you can see right there. Like I said, it's a tight window, but it's a one-play touchdown. So we'll go and pick that again. The next defense we're going to go, we're just going to go back to our nickel packages here, and we're going to go to uh, cover four match. This one here, you don't have to make any adjustments on this particular play because the B route, you can see there's a lot of crisscrossing going on, and cover four matches don't really do a very good job with that. The safety looked like he had no idea who he was supposed to cover there. If we go to the replay and we watch this particular safety, I don't know what type of covers this is but it looks like he wants to cut that off then he basically goes to the deeper route which also would be open at that point i don't know who's supposed to cover this guy because the ball's already leaving his hand but i guess he passed it off to the outside cornerback and the outside cornerback didn't know like i said very glitchy play so like i said the easiest way to run this against cover four is just do nothing and then you can see the b route here just gets completely lost in translation for a catch and run you could score from just about anywhere on the field and then last but not least we have man coverages now this year i can run against just about anything but we'll go and we'll pick random man coverage so that's pretty much it for that play next up we're going to go ahead though we're going to switch over to the post wheel so let's go let's pick that on the defensive side we're going to continue with cover two there's another play you don't really have to make any adjustments against cover two but you really can you can motion this guy out i've done that already in some plays so it shouldn't draw your opponent's attention too much uh, and then you can put the a route on the streak if you put the a route and the y route on the streak the RB route and the B route will both have success, but you'll have limited uh, resources when it comes to blocking. But at the end of the day, this is a very quick uh, route to get open, especially against cover two. So there's really no downside to doing that. If you watch the replay, this route here gets open right away. And it's mostly because the jam works against this defense based on the fact that he's jamming 16 to throw him inside. On the other side, there is no excuse for that. If we go over to the other side, there's, no, there's nothing over here. It's just such a wide looping pattern that this particular pattern doesn't get jammed because the cornerback just doesn't have the range to do it. So it really just runs right past him for an easy one-play touchdown. I could throw this right about 10, 20 yards off the mark, and he's going to be wide open. So it's really up to you. The B route, though, is not really a one-play touchdown the same way that the running back is. You can see it's just a very big play, but if anybody's running cover two, it's nice to have that. Ultimately, motioning out the running back and putting the A route on the streak is going to be the most explosive version, but you do have a check down against cover two on the other side. Now, like I said, you don't really have to do much. He just runs right past the defense here for the most part. So let's go and let's pick that play again. Now we're going to go with cover three. Against cover three, you're going to need a fast receiver once again. But all you're going to do is put the B route here 
on a fade and then put the a route you're just going to flip the a route put them on a 10 yard out round instead of a 10 yard in round you can block your running back you don't really need that and now we're looking for that x route the x route there is going to get open based off the fact that there's just a good amount of separation between the cornerback and the safety based off of the 10 yard out round there's nothing else on that side of the field now they're actually threw the ball a little bit early but if you watch how this cornerback reacts to this 10 yard out route based on the fact that there's nothing else out here he just commits to it a little bit too much and you can see i'm not even to the wide side of the field but there's a ton of space there as he still doesn't really pick until the ball's in the air and now you can see i'm pretty much just getting past his defense you can also have a lot of success with the original setup by motioning this guy out and just putting the a route here on a fade that will essentially uh get the a route if you have a really fast tight end you might be able to get a nice catch and run but the a route will get open up a very wide seam if you decide to run it that way now this play is also a very good man beating route so let's go and let's pick that we'll start off with cover two man and work our way back cover two man is going to work a lot the same way that cover uh cover two zone did where essentially this running back here is going to run right around that press and even with one of the best cornerbacks in the game he just runs right around it for a very easy one play touchdown so anytime you see that motion in this formation it's very glitchy i've used it in several different plays it's been a one play touchdown in multiple different ways this is one of the few times though where it's the actual motion that's going to make the play not necessarily set up somebody else so here we go one more time like i said that play, that route it just takes too dramatic of a wide turning angle and it's just not something that i mean as long as you have a 90 speed or more running back running it you should have a one play touchdown same principles apply anytime that somebody's trying to jam jam this receiver it's just not a jambal route that's what makes it so glitchy is the fact that it can't be jammed and it immediately gets around for just about anything that tries to jam it for an easy one play touchdown so we will pick that one more time we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to cover one man when it comes to cover one man though you're gonna have pretty much the same route that gets open against cover three so put the b route here on a streak block your running back uh your tight end you can do whatever you want with it maybe like a little zig route for a check down would probably be my preferred setup uh, but you can see here the X routes to play this time and you can see once again he's getting across the formation so cover three cover one that's going to be your play it's also going to be your play probably against man coverage cover zero stuff like that uh, it's very easy one play touchdown so I'm going to end the video there gave you guys a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game with those two plays if you guys want to see more plays out of this particular uh, playbook route of this particular formation hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below